How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again, dropping yet another video. Right, as you can see from the title of this video, it's about two deaths in custody at HMP Lewis. One tragically took place on Saturday, and one also took place on uh, Monday. My thoughts and prayers and condolences are with the families of uh, Neville McNair and also Ricky Coombs as well. Um, tragic, tragic set of circumstances. Uh, at least one of the deaths is believed to be uh, self-inflicted, so suicide. Um... But like I say, there's no more of a depressing place on earth um, to die than there is a prison, honestly. And anyway, what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description below, reference a story, um, and I'm going to read the actual word, story word for word here. Uh, so the headline reads, Investigations launched after two prisoners die within 48 hours at HMP Lewis. One inmate is thought to have taken his own life. Investigations have been launched into the deaths of two prisoners within 48 hours at HMP Lewis. The Ministry of Justice said Neville McNair died on Saturday, a day before his 52nd birthday. Ricky Coombs, aged 25, died on Monday of injuries which are believed to be self-inflicted. A, a prison service spokesman said, As with all deaths in custody, there will be an independent investigation by the prisons and probation's ombudsman. Our condolences are with Mr Coombs and Mr McNair's family and friends at this difficult time. HMP Lewis is in East Sussex is a Category B prison with a capacity of 617 inmates. In its most recent inspection in 2016, found it overcrowded, holding 640, a substantial number of whom were awaiting trial or sentence. A report by Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Prisons said more than a quarter of prisoners at Lewis Prison reported feeling depressed or suicidal. It's also found some staff did not have anti-ligature knives and could not assure us that they would act appropriately in the event of a serious self-harm incident. In April, campaigners warned of a system in crisis as self-harm in UK prisons reached a record high. More than 11,600 prisoners harmed themselves in jails across England and Wales during 2017, the equivalent of one every 12 minutes. Now, guys, as a former prisoner, right, let me tell you, my first things first, right, my thoughts and my prayers and my condolences go out to Neville McNair's family and also Ricky Coombs' family. Um, so sorry for your loss, guys. And like I say, uh, there's no more depressing place on earth to, to, to pass away than there is a prison. Trust me when I tell you. And do you know what the sad thing is, guys, right? Um, the Ministry of Justice are just full of um, public relation exercises and stuff. Um, they keep a lid on the bad stories getting out and then they promote their what the, the good things that they're trying to do. We're actively trying to recruit 2,500 officers. I think they recruited 3,333 in, in shorter time than they was expecting to do. Right. The facts are prisoners are dying on the Ministry of Justice's watch and nothing's been done about it. Prisoners' lives, guys, are disposable. It's as simple as that. And they don't give a shit. These MPs, the, the Prison and Probation Minister, Rory Stewart, um, the, the, um, the the Justice Secretary, David Gork, Michael Spur, who's obviously the Chief Executive of Her Majesty's Prison and Probation Service, they live in bubbles, guys. They're residing over men that they cannot relate to. What are their experiences of crime? Example, David Gork, he, he is the son of a police officer. His father was a serving policeman. They're all about pro-punishment, right? So a lot of good people in prison. And the, do you know what annoys me as well? The, 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 the media, the tabloids, yeah? They run stories. Oh, butlings with bars, cushy prisons, like holiday camps, right? Now, you will have some good times in prison. There is no doubt about it. But the, the, the truth is as well that you suffer immeasurably, psychologically, emotionally, and, and, it, and it gets to you. I don't care how big and how bad and how strong and how bad you think you are. Right? prison will bring you to your knees some people it happens on it every few hours some people it might ask last it might happen once a week once a month once every six months once in the sentence but prison will bring you to your knees it affects you psychologically now as guys we try to do the whole macho thing oh yeah prison uh, it definitely affects you and you definitely prison changes you in a way Right. Like I say, you make more criminal connections in prison. Prison doesn't work. But like I say, the fact that, like I say, a third of prisoners within lose prison 
said that they felt suicidal or had suffered with depression. Well, social people were social creatures, guys. Being locked up for sustained periods of time, if, if, you've, if, you've, if you've not already got mental health problems, and believe me, a lot of prisoners have, believe me, right? It starts mental health problems. It genuinely does. There's people in prison that have got, that have got like personality disorders, depression, anxiety, bipolar, autism, Asperger's syndrome, and a lot of people are actually not medicated because they've never actually been through a diagnosis, right? So they self-medicate, they start taking the spice, they start taking other drugs, or they start slashing up because they want to release the, they want to swap the emotional pain for physical pain as an outlet, right? Which is obviously shocking and stuff. Like I say, some people in prison, they self-harm to get attention. It's a cry for help, right? And it shouldn't be laughed at. Right then, you've got the serious self armors that they're, they're trying to sever. They're trying to sever like uh, femoral arteries and arteries in the neck and stuff. The carotid artery and stuff in your neck. Proper, proper trying to trying to kill themselves and stuff. And like I say, prison is everyone's treading water and stuff like that. Some people are trying to push you under. Some people are trying to help you. Some people just swim in their own thing. They're not asked about anyone else. They're just doing their own jail. And the truth is, prisons are full of death, misery, and despair. Like I said, yes, you will meet some top kids. Yes, you will have some laughs. But you can't focus on the positives of a, you, you try to focus on the positives in a bad situation. But overall, prison affects everybody. And not just the prisoner, neither. It affects the prisoner's family, the prisoner's children. It sends shockwaves and ripple effect through the whole family. The family suffer emotionally, psychologically. Not to mention financially. The prisoner suffers emotionally, psychologically and physically because obviously people get into fights, people self-harm, people throw themselves off landings. I've seen it happen, guys. I left prison with £46 and PTSD. That's genuine, right? Because of my experiences. I'm headstrong, guys, right? Not everyone's as headstrong in prison as me. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm any better than anybody else. It's just some people can cope with more than others, right? In my life, I've coped with a lot. So the certain people... All prisoners that are in prison, before they've ever been offenders, guys, they've been victims. They've grown up in care. They've been care leavers, sexually abused, physically abused. Parents have been addicts, suffered with addiction themselves, uh, just sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused. It goes on, guys, right? And like I say, everyone that's in prison, right, for the most part, suffers. We, we, we've all got issues. We've all, we've all been through the mill. We've all lived hard lives and stuff. Now, that doesn't... Like I say, that doesn't mean that we can use that as an excuse for our criminality. We know, we know, hell or high water, we're responsible for our own actions and stuff. But like I say, people leaving prisons in body bags, guys. Unfortunately, it's happening more and more. There's three ways you can leave prison. Through the front door, right, through the gate, as in being released, right? Um, over the wall, right, or in a body bag. And unfortunately, leaving prison in a body bag is happening more and more. We're seeing, on year on year, we're seeing record numbers of assaults and self-harm, record highs year on year, right? And I believe next year, when the figures are released for this year, because obviously they've got to calculate and stuff and it'll come out next year, that I believe we're going to see the, rec the record numbers of um, suicides within our prison. There's been, I think there was five or six in Nottingham. There's been, there's been one in Dartmoor. There's been, there's been murders as well. There's, there's just, just fucking death, misery, and despair happening. And nobody does nothing about it. Prisoners are not on the government's agenda. The only way that gov the, the prisoners will be on the government's agenda is if every prisoner in the UK is given a right to vote, because then these, these fucking, these politicians and these political parties, right, that are all self-serving fucking idiots, right, that live in bubbles and stuff and know nothing of our struggles, right, would have to. In would would have to put us into their uh, manifestos and stuff but obviously that's not going to happen is it because we live in fucking fantasy land don't we anyway guys what i'm going to do i'm going to leave this video here uh, again my thoughts and prayers with ricky coombs family and also neville mcnair's family god bless him uh, god bless them both may they both rest in peace uh, the file gets passed to the prison and probation's ombudsman who's a classed as independent but he's not independent are they uh, like i say it's just disgusting and stuff that this is still happening in prisons um, anyway guys I'm going to leave this video here uh, I'll put a link in the description below to the story always guys welcome your comments and stuff um, like comment and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon Cordial.